there are two types of signals in the game. There are normal signals and there are chain signals. If there's a train within the block in front of a signal, it will turn the signal red, not allowing any other train to enter this block. Normal signals only look one block ahead of them. Placing a train here turns this signal red, whereas chain signals have the advantage of looking multiple blocks ahead of them until the first normal signal. You can see that these two chain signals are actually turning red because they're looking multiple blocks ahead of them up until this signal. If you use normal signals to signal a crossing, you can have one train blocking the crossing, preventing any other traffic. You can see that it will block this junction. We have the same setup, but instead we are using a chain signal instead of a normal signal before the crossing, and that will stop the train before it actually enters this. An easy to remember rule that I like to use is chain signals before crosses and normal signals before merges. This prevents blockage and also allows trains to move multiple directions through the junction at the same time. Having a train here blocks traffic going this way, but allows trains to still move through these other directions. 